Yellowstone's shocking eruct, water and steam sent dozens running for safety. Yellowstone is an active volcano, not Disneyland with bison. The park is filled with more than 500 spewing geysers, as well as numerous boiling hot springs. On July 23, one of Yellowstone National Park's thousands of thermal features, near a hot spring called Sapphire Pool, erupted. Visitors fled as plumes of mud and rock shot into the air, coating sidewalks with debris. Understandably, the park temporarily closed the area, Crucially, though, this doesn't mean the larger Yellowstone volcano is in danger of erupting. It's simply a normal, if dramatic, event in a place where molten rock, magma, forms underground. The volcano remains at a normal level of activity, the U.S. Geological Survey said in a statement after the incident. Monitoring data does not indicate any changes in the Yellowstone area due to today's hydrothermal eruption. These events, called hydrothermal eruptions, occur when groundwater suddenly turns to steam. The rapid buildup of pressure triggered the explosion. These explosions are fairly common in Yellowstone, the USGS explains, noting that they occur every few years. A similar explosion to today's occurred in the Biscuit Basin on May 17, 2009. Today's eruption does not reflect a change in the volcanic system, which remains at normal background activity levels, the park says. There are no signs of an impending eruption, such as unusual earthquake activity. The park experiences hundreds to thousands of earthquakes each year. Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption was about 70,000 years ago, and it was not a giant one, on the scale that would have deposited ash over much of the U.S. of the last 50 or so eruptions, almost all have been simple lava flows, the USGS explains. If one were to occur tomorrow or next year, the immediate impact would be minimal outside of Yellowstone National Park. But Yellowstone is capable of a catastrophic eruption, the last of which occurred 631,000 years ago. Three such events have occurred in the past two million years. Such a worst-case scenario event would empty the volcano's magma, causing catastrophic ground collapse and forming a massive depression. A catastrophic eruption would be locally devastating, but it wouldn't cause a global extinction, as a colossal asteroid impact would. Fortunately, before such an extremely rare eruption, we have at least decades, if not centuries, of notice. This isn't a bright summer surprise. A sudden eruption in Yellowstone National Park sent steam, water and dark-colored rocks and soil high into the sky on Tuesday, sending tourists running for safety. The hydrothermal vent occurred around 10 a.m. in Biscuit Basin, a collection of hot springs a few miles north of the famous Old Faithful Geyser. Video posted online showed dozens of people watching from a sidewalk as the eruption erupted and grew in front of them. As water and debris began to fall, they ran to get away, some shouting, get back, and, oh my gosh. People then turned to watch the scene beneath the huge cloud of steam. No injuries were reported, but the Biscuit Basin area was closed for visitor safety. The eruption damaged a boardwalk that had been blocking people from getting close to Yellowstone's fragile and often dangerous geothermal area. Vlada March was on a tour of the basin when her guide said something unusual was happening. March started recording video. We saw more steam coming out and within seconds, it turned into a big plume," said March, a California real estate agent who was with her mother, husband and their two children. 
The smoke just exploded and turned into this black cloud that covered the sun. I think our tour guide said, run, and I started running and yelling at the kids, run, 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 and I just kept filming everything I could. Rocks falling from the sky smashed into the pavement they were walking on. March, who was sitting on a bench near the blast, was shaken and dirty but otherwise okay, she said. Walking back on the damaged sidewalk was a little scary, she said, but fortunately it didn't break beneath us. Photos and videos of the aftermath showed broken guardrails and planks covered in rocks and mud near a muddy pond. The explosion could have been caused by a blockage in the vast network of natural pipes that underlie Yellowstone's world-famous geysers, hot springs and other thermal features, said scientist Mike Poland of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The blockage would have caused a buildup of heat and pressure like that of a pressure cooker, he said, until the water suddenly turned to steam, causing an instant and massive expansion in volume that would trigger an explosion.